There we go. Fish hunt. Bad one. Oh, that's a beast. That's a tank smolly. That's a tank smolly. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Backlash Angling. Chase here. We are uh, on a river mission today. We are at a location that I was introduced to about two weeks ago. My girlfriend's dad brought me here, and uh, it's just a, it's a nice river. It's on the Thames River. I'm not going to specify exactly where it is because I think it's a bit of a secret location for him. So it's, uh, it's a smallmouth kind of day. River smallmouth. Just little 10 inch smallies that fight you like crazy. So I got my waders on, I got the chest mount on, and I'm gonna bring the big camera uh, camera along just to get some nice shots if I do start hooking up. But we were here, like I said, two weeks ago and we got onto about 30 small mouths. So I got about five hours of fishing and I'm excited to uh, start yanking on some small jaws. So I got Ned rig tied up and I'm probably gonna throw on a drop shot a little bit later on with some bonnie worms. So I'm excited. Uh, I'm all alone here and uh, yeah, let's get to fishing. All right, so this, is, uh, this isn't this is the main Thames River. This is a little bit of a, a creek inflow. But I was saying last time I was here, I thought this looked really good, but apparently the smallmouth don't really migrate up to this creek arm. So I'm just gonna keep putting along. There's already some crayfish that I'm seeing, which is nice because I got a nice little Ned Rig, little crayfish pattern. I think it's gonna just stroke them. This is the first kind of area I remember having some serious luck. I think we pulled like 15 smallies out of here. So what you can see is you can see the fast moving kind of current. And then up there, there's a little bit of stale water. Stale water just means that the river isn't flowing as fast, which means that there's depth. So I think it's about a four foot pocket. And if it's anything like last time, there's gonna be a, like a stocked up pile of smallies, just like a school. So, I think it's not too rocky, and I think the net rig should work, but if I do connect to them, it should be one after the other. Right. Here we go. There we go. Oh, I just missed one. Nibble some of that off. That's some tough salty shit. Alright. See how this works. Two inch net. There we go. Small on. There we go. Finally one big enough. Yes! Choked it. Absolutely choked it. There we go. Just on a little craw. Craw Ned. Boom. What a beauty. That was first. There's definitely gonna be more. He's probably like a. Eh, he's actually like a nine inch. He's actually not too bad for, for the like just like river size here. Thank you for biting the Ned, the deadly Nedly. Boom! Let's go. I'm jacked. Honestly, I think that was such a clutch move just to bite off an inch of that, the Ned right. Like, it seems ridiculous to bite bite off an inch of a three inch Ned, but sometimes that's all it takes. There we go. Two. Oh, he popped. He popped. All right, they are stacked in here. Yeah. 
There we go. <laughs> Number two. Number two. Right in the top. Perfect. Number two. Oh, look at the patterns on that guy's cheek. Looks like a little tiger. Number two, he's about, I don't know, seven inches. So pretty though. Love it. There's more. Bye bye. Here we go. Right into this pocket. It must drop down to like four feet here. There's another one. There he goes. Bite me. I didn't even loosen the drag off. There we go. Another one. Number three. That's a beauty. Right around that same size. They're gonna be cookie cutters, but I really hope I can find like a two pounder. There you go. Right back in there. That's all they're looking for, is a little bit of depth. There you go. Oh, that's a little guy, yeah. <laughs> He's running. Give a jump, pal. Look at that guy. Tiny. Oh my God, look at his belly though. He's eating good. It's about five inches, six inches. Put a gut on him. Back in there, pal. Keep crunching. Love it. Love it when the little guys are just munching craws like nothing. There we go. Oh, nibble. There we go. Another one. He's giving it to me. Loosen off the drag, have a little more fun. That's my best one yet. Boom. Look at the colors on him. That is awesome. He's got the little tiger stripe on the cheek. And then he's got like a nice bronzy gold on him. That's unreal. What a pretty fish. Beautiful. There he goes. Well, I consider that a success for the first like real pocket. Five fish. A couple like 10 inches. I'm gonna... That's all I'm gonna be looking for. Like you can, there's gonna be a couple little guys hanging around that shallower, like behind rocks and stuff like that. But if you find those pockets, you can just pull out five, 10 fish. Like that's, I think I'm just gonna keep walking down the river and keep trying to find those big pockets and then try to capitalize. Just an update here for you guys. I got five smallies just in that one pocket. I've, I've seen a couple other nice pockets, but uh, I've been I've been snagged out. There's a bunch of bigger rocks that I've been snagging on, but I'm not really sure what to do. I didn't bring exactly what I needed for my tackle. So I'm just trying to makeshift some stuff, but I'm gonna find the ticket, I'm gonna find it. And I don't know if I can't find that, I'm just gonna go back to the Ned rig. It was working for a few fish, so bite through the snags, but I'm just gonna have a granola bar here. And then uh, apparently up upwards, I haven't been that far in the river, but apparently there's some really nice spots to go. So I'm gonna be just keeping my eyes peeled for nice pockets and uh, yeah, we'll catch you at the next fish. I am determined to get one out of here. There you go. Oh, that's a decent one. That's a decent one. That's my best of the day. Oh, he's going. <laughs> Whoa, this is way too much. This is a decent fish. All right, come here. Come here. Come here, guy. Come here, buddy. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. You're all right. I got you. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. It's not a pound and a half, but that's that's a one pounder. Oh yes! Literally been catching dinks all day. I know that's not a giant smallie, but compared to what I've been catching, like come on. 
Come on! Yes! Woo! I'm jacked! What a beautiful fish. Like, he might be, he's right around pound. Maybe an ounce or two over, but that is a gorgeous smallmouth. For like a little river system like this. How oh, amazing. All right, let's get her back in. There she goes. All right, so we kind of had a portion of a river, it deepens out. Oh, that was a deep drop. It deepens out, but it's kind of stale, dirty, definitely less oxygen. I'm seeing way less rocks for crayfish. So less, less food for sure. You would think that it wouldn't be too bad because it has some depth, but it's, it's kind of, I don't know, it's grimy. Like that was a, that was a 25 pound carp. The one little guy's interested. It makes sense for the carp to be in this kind of area. It's stale, slow moving. Oh, I don't know what I hooked up on. What is that? What is that? That's Molly? Oh, this is a lot better than anything I've had on. Oh, it's a, what is that? It's a Smalley. Nice. That's a better one too. That's up there in my best. What a beauty. <laughs> I thought I hooked a carp there. Oh, nice. That's another one pounder. Okay. All right, I'm cool with the deep. I'm cool with the deep water bass anywhere I can get them. That's another, a little bit shorter than the last one, but he's got some stockiness to him. Another beauty, river smallmouth. I honestly thought that when I set the hook there, that I hooked into one of those carps. I thought maybe a carp just decided to take a little Ned rig down. Love the colors on the cheek though. So bronze. Yeah, another nice one, maybe a little bit more than one pounder. Come back in. All right, so we just pulled a 180. I'm looking upstream, there's nothing really that excites me. It looks all like about this stuff, like one, one foot deep, slow moving, no pockets that have been formed. I don't know, it's just unappealing. I've even seen a couple big rocks that have nice riffles behind them and cast it to them, nothing, and look, and there's no smallies hanging behind them, so this kind of gives me doubts. So we'll make our way back and uh, we'll hit that big deep pocket on the way back where the carp was and that one smallie was. And then uh, those other two pockets that produced, we'll, we'll hit them up and then hopefully we have time to make our way down river from where we came in. It's, it's gonna be about an hour, hour walk though, so we'll see. <laughs> Let's do it. starts to get deep out there but there's this kind of it's a, it's a nice little well that was a fish it's a nice little I don't know two and a half foot two foot area a bunch of boulders and then there's some shade there and cover like smallies love cover like you find a big rock cast to it you find tree cover cast there because the likelihood of smallie being there is a lot higher so I'm gonna just kind of break apart this little sheltered area. That cloud cover is nice. Freaking hot in the sun. Bumping along these rocks, hopefully not get snagged and pick one up. There we go. 
Good shot. Bad one. Drag it. Come on, Lizzie. Oh, that's a beast. That's a tank small. That's a tank smallie. Oh my god. That's a big one. That's about a two and a half pounder. Yes. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, he's running. Oh, this is exactly what I've been looking for. Don't come down. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, this is a nice fish. This is a nice fish. Oh. Tell me I'm rolling. Oh. This is a nice smallie. Man, he's giving it to me. Alright, let's land this guy. Oh, he's not done. Oh, come here, big guy. No, stay down. Stay down. Where are you? Can't see him. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Look at that fish! Let's freaking go! Oh my god, yes! Look at that thing! For a little river! For a little river like that, oh my god! I am stoked. What a beast. Right, so I'm on my way back down river, like I said, and I wanted to stop at this, like this meander where it starts to get deep and it starts to get stale and there is some big boulders, but at the first I was like, you know what, this area doesn't look very nice. Like it's kind of stale. I wasn't really feeling it. I was more interested in the current. But then I did pull that one smallmouth out and I'm like, okay, you know what, I gotta give this, I gotta give this area some time. So I'm just popping around the little net rig, popping around the little net rig and all of a sudden just some picks it up and I set the hook into it and it's like a good bite. Here she is. Boom. That right there is about a two and a half pound small jaw. Thames River, beauty. Look at that thing. It's chunky, it's got a nice belly on it. And it's about, I'd say it's about 20 inches long. Like, that's a tank smallmouth. Those are, those. Are, that's a, I was just saying, like Great Lake smallmouth eating the Ned Rig. And this big Bertha just chows me. What a beauty. Like, that's a two and a half pounder. I'm freaking stoked. I didn't expect to catch anything like that. And she's just full of piss and vinegar. All right, we're gonna let her go here. Here she goes. Let's go! Oh, I'm so stoked. I'm gonna give this this deep area a good fishing because there's got to be bigger ones like that too. Oh, I was expecting to catch seven, eight inches all day. Like, no way in my mind I thought I'd catch an 18 to 20 incher. Like, what a stud. That's a big fat female. <sighs> my day's made. <laughs> I don't know. I could go back home right now, but... Oh, let's just keep going. That's awesome. All right, that's a wrap. Uh, overall, about uh, four kilometers of walking in the water today. So, so worth it. We caught, I think I caught about 12, 12 uh, smallmouth and then that absolute stud of uh, fish. Like for that to come out of a river is pretty impressive. Great Lakes, that's that's an average size, but for to catch a 19 inch right around there, around like two and three quarter pound smallmouth and just like a pretty narrow river, that gets me, that gets me hyped up. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's it's September, I think, 9th today, so uh, that means musky season's right around the corner, and we got some big plans for Lake St. Clair, so make sure to subscribe because you're not going to want to miss that. Cheers. Have a good one.